1,401. The Bayview Lanes in Sault Ste. Marie. That's a better shot right there. Come on, come on. You like that? He sure did. Better shot right there. You could hear him say. So that forces the carry over. And we go to the sixth and we're playing for $400. Well, his coach back home, Dan Darian, and also uh, Floyd Crop from the uh, Bayview. Uh, he's the proprietor at Bayview. They'll be yelling and hauling with the excitement on that one. That was a critical ball. Kept the frame alive, and the score is close, 68-66. Both men will the strike up. Works for EDS Canada in customer relations. The Electronic Data Services of Canada. And another one back to back for Kerry Bach. You hear Kerry talking up there. Come on, baby, knock him down. He's checking the scoreboard. He knows. Jamie Jung has an 836 for three games, has had 18 perfect games, would like to get one strike, period. And he will not. And so the two frames and the $400 to Kerry Bach. Needs to uh, stay in the game, keep his head into it. Bowls at Excalibur Lanes in Surrey. Runner up in British Columbia with a 2316 score. Put on a tremendous show here on the first time. He had a lot of strikes when he was up there. Actually had 11 strikes in his game, had a 197 average. $950 is what he's won to date. <laughs> wow. 106 in the sixth, the strike up on the seventh. Nobody is giving anything away. Watch how far out he is. Outside there, he goes over the third arrow, goes out past to about the third arrow on the right, and then brings the ball right back into the pocket and blows everything down. So now it's Kerry Bach who needs the strike to force the carry over. Or even a quick, baby. And he'll get it. He's hollering quick, baby, quick. More important than the strike was the fact that he also now watch this as he delivers it. He starts talking to her right here at the start. And now he gets a turkey up there, three in a row, and he gains a lot of pin count. He gained 10 pins on the fifth frame. That's very important when we get down if they happen to tie in the number of frames one. We're also at the point now for Jamie Jung. Kerry can win the match. Well, let's get a back up. That's four in a row. <laughs> let's gonna back it up, he said. He back it up. <laughs> it's nice to hear them get emotional in this game. Now Jung needs to strike. He sure okay. does. If he doesn't, it is over. Has he got it? Yes, he does. He gets the kick off the sidewall. Boy, there is a man that has pretty good nerves to be able to just step back up. He saw somebody bowl four in a row. He now has two in a row himself. The scoreboard tells the story. Jamie Jung needs to set the pace. The anchor frame coming up. It's so critical. The ninth frame. See what he does here. The opponent has to match it. He'll have to match a strike, Kerry Bach. He's rolled three in a row, Jamie Jung. Great stuff. Well, we wanted to see some good scoring, and we're seeing it. These men are putting on the display, as they did in the ladies' division. We had excellent bowling with them. All of the competitors along the way here have put on a tremendous show. And uh, we thank them for competing across Canada. Please continue to do so. Way to go. And so the match will come down to the 10th. Pin count is in the favor of Kerry Bach. Certainly with the five in a row. Now he can lock it out if he strikes out. He You're can right. win everything. He can get it. So if he gets three strikes here. Doesn't matter what Jamie does. But the thousand dollars on the table. Tenth frame, what a way to end it. You go down to the tenth and final frame to determine. He crossed over. And the six is left. 
that opens the door for Jamie to do some heroics. He's thinking about it there, sitting at the bench. He knows, yeah, I know exactly what I need. Uh, he has to pay attention. You get a little careless, a little lazy. Not that way. Yeah. Don't want to do that. 227 is the most that he can put on the board. And his opponent can get 228 if he strikes out. <laughs> 226, sorry. I, you know, they're doing these things so fast. 226, man. man. Well, if he gets... Notice that I didn't try and correct you. No, you did well. <laughs> just... What's he got here? Finish off. No, punches the head. <laughs> crashes it. I tell you what, that eight count is what, we, what Jamie Jung needed to see happen because... Now you got 225 to 226. So uh, our statistician, Grady Long from Edmonton, who is, we won't hold that against him, but he's done a marvelous job. So he needs 19 pins here. Watch this. He's way over on the left hand side. He's going out to the center arrow. He's too far out. Oh, come back. He's too far out, but he can make this. this uh, I'll tell you what, he needs this spare. What a disastrous shot that was. The one, five, seven. Look how far he is. See, he got in way out there and oh. almost in. Oh. And when it gets that far over, it won't happen. Now this shot can be made. He's gonna go after it, but he'll have to go a little bit further. Not quite as far as he was. See where he is, he's almost on the opposite lane. He's gonna try and skid that one pin over. He needs can it. make this shot. Needs it. Needs it. Well, geez, he got the, the back two and missed the first one. And Kerry Bach will pick up the final two frames. Kerry Bach from Sault Ste. Marie in his debut. Pulls a 225. Wins $1,600. And he is through to the final. And now waits to see whether he'll play a former champion in David Riley or another of the newcomers, Pat Desjardins.